Hello and welcome to this presentation of Beric's Addis ERPS test solution for Ethernet ring protection testing. This demonstration covers a brief overview on the capabilities of the Addis ERPS test solution. The Ethernet ring protection switching as defined in the ITUT G.8032 recommendation ensures loop avoidance in an Ethernet ring by guaranteeing that at any time traffic may flow on all but one of the ring links has been built to overcome the drawbacks in existing variants of spanning tree protocols and resilient packet rings, achieves rapid service restoration and reliably enables carrier class services in Ethernet ring topologies. The Verix Addist ERPS has been designed for functional and performance verification of Ethernet ring protection switching functionality in mobile backhaul networks. The Addist ERPS tests the recovery and failover time for ring protection link owner and non-ring protection link owner. It verifies features of ERPS G.8032 versions 1 and 2. The Addist ERPS tests for stability under robust conditions, administrative switchover and protection switching on multiple rings and interconnection links. The ARS ERPS test cases verify the Ethernet ring protection switching support for various test scenarios. The ARS ERPS determines the failover and restoration time of the device under test as ring protection link owner and non-ring protection link owner in single and multiple rings. In a single ring topology scenario, the ADS ERPS measures the failover and restoration time of the device under test under stressful conditions and also verifies traffic loss behavior when the device under test filtering database is fully populated. The ADS ERPS test suite has been developed using the Verix ADS test automation framework. The key benefits of the ADS ERPS include Accurate measurement of failover and restoration time. Automated testing for pre-configured topologies. A comprehensive test solution encompassing hardware and test suite library. In this demonstration, we consider a test involving the measurement of the failover time when a local signal failure is detected in a single ring topology. Here, the ring protection link owner detects a local failure on its ring link, reroutes the data traffic on the other link, and ADIST ERPS calculates the failover time. An illustrative explanation of this failover behavior is seen here. In this scenario, the device under test is configured to be the RPL owner. ADIS sends periodic CCM messages to enable steady state. The ring protection link is blocked under normal conditions. This makes the received traffic flow from S1 to S2 and S1 to S3 via the non-ring protection link. Next, the ring protection link owner detects a local signal failure on its link and it unblocks the ring protection link. ADIS stops sending the periodic CCM messages to simulate this failure condition. The device under test detects this failure after the lapse of 3.5 times the CCM interval. It then starts forwarding the traffic flows from S1 to S2 and S1 to S3 on its ring protection link. ADIS calculates the failover time and verifies whether it is within the permissible range. This covers our demonstration. For further details, please contact us using the information provided here. Thank you.